Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rose. I want to do a quick video about this company called Synetic because there's a few sort of threads out, out there on the internet asking who or what exactly this company is. So I've just ordered my second piece of hardware from Synetic. I've ordered a, a TP-Link load balancing router. Now when you're looking for this kind of product as a consumer, your load balancing routers, your VPN routers, your wired routers, you're already sort of drifting a little bit from your kind of classic consumer grade hardware that you can pick up from Curry's or Best Buy if you're in the US. So when I was looking for this in Israel, a load balancing router, I actually sort of didn't come across many options or there was maybe four or five options on the market I could find. And Synetic kept coming up for, you know, the sort of big names in the space, Ubiquity, Microtech, um, and therefore I um, was looking for an upgrade on my load balancer and I decided to purchase from them. Now, just a couple of observations. Firstly, this is the second piece of hardware I've ordered from them. The first thing I ordered was this Jabra uh, conference speakerphone and all I can say about it is that it works perfectly fine. Um, it's totally fine and it came here relatively quickly via DHL. Now speaking about DHL, uh, this is sort of telling because looking at the tracking, now I'm based in Israel, so it's kind of obvious that if they had multiple shipping locations, it would come X Europe, but this is the tracking I'm seeing in my DHL. Like it left from this place called Katowice in Poland. I'm in Poland, I'm undoubtedly pronouncing that wrong. Then it uh, had a quick stopover in Leipzig in Germany, and um, now it's here in Israel and it's just gone through the start of the clearance, customs clearance process. Now, that to me indicates very much that this company is a Polish company. Did find a few threads on Reddit, uh, interesting threads here on sort of the big tech subreddits. Uh, there's one here saying, Synetic, has anybody shopped there? Are they legit? And some people sort of speculate about what they are exactly. Um, there's a couple of um, people saying, you know, maybe this is gray tech. I'm not exactly sure what that means, tech that what I, from what, what, what my, my understanding of great tech is sort of like the Logitech C930 e webcam that I wound up with, gray market tech, technology that's intended for one marketplace, that was a Chinese version of the C930 C webcam I'm speaking into now, and that somehow wound up in Israel and in the US, and a lot of people were annoyed because they picked up what they thought was a Logitech webcam for Europe only to find all the firmware in Chinese and they couldn't upgrade the firmware using Logitech. So I think that's a category of great tech. There's this other uh, thread here in Build a PC saying, Synetic, is it legit or is it gray? Um, and that's what they mean by, uh, by gray. Again, if someone, someone says that they're checking Synetic.ie in Ireland. And uh, this, is, this is what it seems to, uh, to be for me. They have this huge network of international sites. Now this is the Israeli website, synetic.co.il. There's also synetic.ie. And the question is, it's like, it looks like a local technology store. Everything's in Hebrew. If you go onto the contact page of this company, they've got uh, an Israeli office address and there's an Israeli guy on LinkedIn. So the guy, the guy is real, that much I know. Um, but it's still a little bit unclear. Look at all these locations, Germany, France, Switzerland, Poland, UK. Bulgaria, Spain, Sweden, Romania, Czech Republic, and Italy. So that's a lot of international locations. Now, two things. Firstly, anytime I've ordered from this company, it's come via Poland. Um, the second way I always, when I'm sort of curious, well, what exactly is this company? Is I go onto LinkedIn and I put the company into the search box and then I look at where the people are based. Now, this is my sort of foolproof way, I would say, or I think it's pretty foolproof. You can't really hide it's, it kind of gives an imprint on where the company is located. So it looks to me as this in Israel, they do have some real people. There's this guy who's the manager. This guy says he's a procurement manager. And then they've got some people, but most of the company is located in, in their headquarters in Katowice, uh, undoubtedly sp sp saying that wrong again. Most of their people are in Poland. So um, I'm waiting on my TP-Link router from Synetic. I'm none the wiser really as to what they are, but I do suspect that it's kind of this Polish company that is um, sort of uh, operating all these local websites, maybe a couple of people on the ground. The one thing I would say that I, I would hold against them is that when you go on to synetic.com, the first thing you see is this US uh, number here and you kind of get the impression 
that they're an American company. And that, from what I can tell, is just not the case. Perhaps they have a, a virtual address in the US, perhaps they have a couple of employees in the US, but essentially it's a Polish company. Um, how they describe themselves is, Synetic is a global provider of IT solutions for business and public organizations, etc. So what I will say about Synetic is, um, in terms of the two pieces of hardware I've ordered from them, one of which has arrived. This was totally fine. The price of the TP-Link was comparable to the other IT shops in Israel. It wasn't suspiciously cheap, uh, but I thought it was sort of a big global IT company. And I must admit, I was a little bit disappointed to dig into it to sort of see that it was really, and the only reason I say I'm disappointed is that as a consumer, I appreciate transparency. Uh, if this About Us page said, we are a Polish company, and we work with um, agents in different countries in a sort of franchisee business model, I would actually be a lot more comfortable ordering from them because they're being transparent about who and what they are. I have no problem whatsoever ordering from a Polish store. I just don't like when I sort of, people create this impression that doesn't seem to stand up to much scrutiny. So my thoughts on Synetic, like, like most people on Reddit is I'm confused. I can't say I've ordered from them um, and, um, I did try to change my order and they didn't respond to my emails in a very timely fashion. So it wasn't a great purchasing experience from their Israeli uh, franchisee, to be honest. Um, the communication was sort of typical for Israeli companies, not very professional. Um, and I probably wouldn't buy from them again, but um, I didn't get a response from emailing the Polish office either. So yeah, and for a couple of reasons, Synetic is probably legit um but i would have a couple of question marks and i don't really like the way they're presenting their company thanks for watching for more videos feel free to subscribe to the youtube channel